We're in the top eight. We're gonna win. We're gonna play first. We want every die roll is not stopping now. We're gonna keep. Let's do this. Don't know what the opponents are. Angelic Dawn. Good luck to you. Thanks for showing up in a timely fashion. And let's do this. Soul Sisters. So I'm gonna leave off Mana Link. Next turn, probably casting Sewer Visions. Don't know what, you could have Shrine or something. I mean, probably in my best interest to handle like this. It's going to get out of range of Fire Spell pretty quickly. So. Let's go ahead and do that. It is going to leave us open to maybe a Procession or something. Dismembers. Nice. Nice one to leave up while we're doing this. So, we have one, two, three, four, five. We could probably bottom the planes at this point and keep the factory. I'll play my Vivid Creek and see if I want to dismember something. Probably not. We're probably just fire spouting whatever, whatever happens next. Okay. We can fire spout currently. If it gets any bigger, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take it out. I don't expect him to have a flash creature, so just attacking. So he, he's leaving a brain the elements. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna force that out of him. And if it resolves, oh, it resolved. I, I wasn't expecting that to resolve. Um, I'm gonna end up just casting compulsive research now. I think we're moving right along here. And I'll push the islands. Oh, you know what? We already have a factory to play. That was not necessary, but still okay. Cloud Guard Ranger might get there. Please don't have another guy. Oh, no. He's going to have another guy, isn't he? Ugh. That makes this fire spout real bad. Oh, maybe he doesn't have it. So what do I do here? Okay. So I think we have to do fire spell and just live with um, fighting a 4-4 four, four for now. We go to 9 and we're going to Cloud Goat Ranger. We can't leave both of these alive. This is basically an Ajani's private mate as well. So I think we're just going to have to wrap now. And live with it. There wasn't a lot we could have done in there. Four, four. I mean, these tokens will buy us some time. Even if we pass this, we can jump for a while. We need to find a path. We have a lot of outs, so that's that's kind of good. Path would be the perfect draw because then we could cloud go and leave a path. So his last cards are Path and maybe Brave or something. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play Cloud Goat Ranger here. I'm not all that interested in blocking with everybody. I may just block with the Ranger and try and pump it. Seems like my best play. He's a little flooded for his deck. Doesn't His deck doesn't want to see too many lands. I don't think he wants to see any more. So he has no path, I guess. Alright, so it's going to buy us a ton of time. Fire spells not going to do really anything for us. He could be playing Tech Edge. I think I'm still going to leave these up. Pretty sure anything I draw. Okay, I'm going to pitch the Monastery. So do I want to leave? I think I want to just research here. But I want to do it in such a way that I can draw a path. So let's do that. Maybe Tech Edge is useful. We drew a path. Um, I think I blew it now. If he has Brave the Elements, he has Brave the Elements. We can't do a lot. But if he doesn't, we get to get him for six. He doesn't have it. So we want to get him for six here. Not expecting, you know, really raising one or anything like that to come into play, so looks like we're pretty far ahead here. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's flooded. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty safe to cast Jace's ingenuity now. Leaving up Tech Edge. So not basics. Okay. So we just pass. We get to think twice. He's on two turns. Oh, baby. Yeah, he's too flooded, man. It doesn't even seem like he has path, which is kind of interesting. So I'm not really worried about a wrath effect. I don't think it really matters if we show the kitchen things. So I'm going to play it. This is just the safest thing to do. We have triple leak, but I don't think we need to leave up triple leak. I, I can't really think of anything you could play that triple leak would would matter. Yeah, he's just too flooded here. Uh, we can't do anything on Zen Sub, so we just pass priority. Go for the win. See if it works. We cannot triple leak a path to exile, but he's going to need more than one. All right, so we mopped him up there. I mean, he drew way too many lands and. Just couldn't, uh, couldn't recoup from the dismember of the leak and the fire spout stopping his, his early uh, aggression. So, we've been facing a lot of creature decks, so not a lot is going to change from what you've seen. I'm going to cut a lot of these cards to bring in Sweepers and Aether as it is. He's got to have some tokens. He's got to be playing Spectral Procession or... Even big crybaits will reset. I mean, that's that's a pretty key thing. So that means we're going to cut this and probably play with our timely reinforcements. And uh, I think just two mana leaks, like always. Not really seeing Relic being useful. We haven't seen him playing, you know, Loyal Cathar, Kitchen Things, or anything like that. These are things he could have in his deck, but the two mana interaction, I think, is just going to be a little better. You know, obviously there's a bit of a novel here, but. That doesn't always come up. Some, you know, you can mana leak before pathing. You can path them and still mana leak them and it'll still be relevant. So it's not necessarily something we automatically write off. All right, let's go ahead and submit. We are one game ahead. We're going to be on the draw, which, which is not favorable, not a favorable position, I should say. Um, but this is a hand we can certainly keep with the sweeper and the, the timely reinforcements and stuff. And if he has a real anemic kind of also awarded draw, the sweeper will be great. So plus we have Aetherize as a backup plan. Now he could just show up with a pride mate and we'll be taking some lumps, but he's got the Serene Steward too, which is a pseudo pride mate. It costs mana to make it work, but Squadron Hawk, okay. So it's looking like Fire Spell might be pretty good here. Ideally, we'd want him to tap out. Oh, you know what? We need the green source to hit these squadron hawks. So he's got them, though. He's got the, got the hawks. Looks like we're going to be leaving that thing twice unless I find a vivid. Or a pro prophetic prism, that is. Okay. Soldier on. The timely will buy us some time. Aetherize could buy us a ton of time, depending how many attackers he gets. I mean, Aetherize could could be big this game. We'll have to keep an eye on it and see. Basically, it's an anti-tokens type of tech. doesn't target them, so we have no way of really interacting with it. Oh, wow. Um, so here he's going to make a flyer. This really puts a damper on the fire spell. We need to find a vivid land pretty quick. But timeline reinforcements is a thing here. Absolutely. All right, so I'm just gonna think twice now, so I can take my, you know, take my turn a little faster. There's a path to exile, but I think we're just gonna go for reinforcements now. It makes sense to me. He's gaining a bunch of life, but we're just gonna have to live with that. Path to exile is a good draw. I'm going to make sure we know that this thing choice is still here. Suture Priest. Okay. So, I mean, he can 
can only get it in the air, which is beneficial. This this board is something that Hate the Reds would be okay against. But I think for now we're going to try and dig to that fire spell. Because that fire spell is looking like what's going to really crush him. Especially if he taps out. So we could just timely again. I'm not too opposed to that either. So we can attack him and timely again. We end up taking three from this. So we, we, net, we net gain three. I'm really kind of interested in this fire spout, though. So, if I think twice for the Vivid Lands, I can't leave up Path to Exile. I think that's okay, though. I think we're in a decent position to actually conserve that timely reinforcements. Didn't, didn't hit. Um, I think we have just enough time to... Uh, to make this play, try and get closer to that Vivid or that Prophetic Prism. And these guys really encourage him to play out his two Hawks, so... Wow, he's flashing red! Okay, what well, didn't see that coming. So that's why he had all those cards in hand that other game. Okay, so we're taking three. I mean, we can, we always have this reset one and eat the rise. Yeah, here come the Hawks. I'm just going to have six. So... Prism is really what we're looking for here. Aether has bought us some time. We have spot removal for those flyers. We really have to make a decision what we're doing. Okay, we're not anywhere closer to, to the fire spell. So, and Aether has really only really sets up. So I think we're going to use the time lead now. And I think we're going to attack. Oh, I can cut him off of... I can cut him off of red here. Okay, I think we're safe. I don't think he's going to have a pump. He probably has rallied the peasants. Uh, you know, there's a lot of buzz about that card. I'm going to kill his red source. And then I'm going to timely. And I don't think any type of pump spell kills us from there. So I think we can afford to do this. So we take three, then we gain three. Or we gain six, then we take three. You know, regardless of the order. Really trying to set him up for this fire spell, but he's down two cards. Might be a little late. A lot of excellence on the field. <laughs> he's probably playing Rally the Peasants. That would be my guess. And some sideboard stuff. Found another red source. Alright, so we might actually just let him we might actually just play into this and hate the rise his, his crew. Take five in the air. I mean I don't want to take damage much longer. I I'd love to draw a bit in this turn though. Last card. We even set him up if we attack with all our guys. It just hoses everything. Okay. Another fire spell. Alright, so what are we what are we in danger of here? He's got five lands, so we can want to replay like three things. We have a oh. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. So this even looks like a sweeper, so it's even worse, but I'm going to go ahead and hate the rise. Seems okay. So I do want to get it with that, uh, that rally or whatever he's holding. Tag him for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something like that. Yeah. Yep, so this even screws him even more. Alright, I'm going to do this first. Because now he can only play out a couple guys. And he's going to have to discard, I think. And if he 
encapsulated is even further further out. Oh, this is funny. Uh, <laughs> need that color source so I can kill his team, but for now we're going to just kind of be steady. I'm not going to use time reinforcements. We're going to let him build up. It bought us some time here. So we'll be thankful for that. Kind of sit on this stuff. I really want the green source for this, so we'll get there. We'll get it. Yep, I'm gonna try and path this. But oh wait, that must have been his draw for turn, right? So I think we just always healed. Try and speed things along. So we're doing okay here. And he's gonna play, I don't know, maybe Sutra Priest or something. Maybe Outcast. Okay. Alright, so now we'll respond by pathing this. An F60. He has the Rally of the Peasants, so we really need to kind of squash his offensive with a fire spell, which we think he did because, uh, you know, with a prophetic prism. That's what we need. So his hand is three hawks, suture priest, and we know his whole hand. And that's a pyroclasm, which is perfect. Um, so I'm going to make him play some more stuff out. He has six, six lands exactly. So I think he's just going to go guy, guy, guy. And then pyroclasm sweeps all that. And then we should be fine. Uh, it's just not even... Okay, he found the land, but we know his entire hand. So I think he's just going to dumb out and play a little bit. Not dumb out. But, uh, do you guys know what dumb out means? It just means go crazy. I'm not saying he's dumb. I don't think he's dumb. Of course not. Okay, this is perfect for us. This is this is pretty, pretty great for us, actually. Just sweep him up. So he's going to play outcast. His hand will be two squadron hawks. Uh, but I think it's probably too good, too good to resist. Ultimately, I think we need to take this opportunity so we don't get hit with break the elements. We have timely reinforcements, all rank, and eventually these fire spouts to get the other hawks. So I think that's perfectly fine for us. So now we just crash out the attack and we fire a closing. Simple as. And there's another fire spout. So maybe we actually fire spout. Do we lose to rally? We kind of lose to. Um, no, I'm just gonna pyroclasm. It's too, too dangerous not to. If he if he finds brave at some point, I think this is just the clearer play. If he finds brave at some point, um, okay, this is fine. I mean, not fine, but we'll do what we have to do. We have some time. You can do six with the Rally of the Peasants. There's F6ing. We know this is all he's got left. Perfect draw here would be Prophetic Prism. Or some kind of cheap draw spell into Prophetic Prism would be fine too. Okay, that's actually fine. That's going to. So should I even do anything? I think I should just take the hit here, right? He can at most do nine. Oh, what if he has double? Oh, shit. If he has double rally, or if he just drew one. Oh, no! I didn't think about this. No! 
six? No, we just did the gameplay. Oh no, he did it. He couldn't kill me, but he did it. Um. Wow, we're almost dead. He couldn't kill me there. Jeez, was that crazy or what? He had to win. He had to win. Criminy. Uh, I don't. I'm not expecting any haste, so I'm not gonna time the reinforcements. Just let him build back up. Sure. And we'll build back up. Jeez, that was nuts. Man, I didn't think about this, him drawing Rally and he drew it. That was a huge mistake on my part. Okay, so... It's looking like we're going to have to Wrath again. We can either do that... We have a third Wrath. Broken O-Ring. So I think we'll just wrath again. We'll make the attack. It's visions first. I don't think I have any counters in my deck. Bottom. Do I want a path to exile? Maybe. But I will take the wrath this time. Jeez, that was crazy. What was I doing? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay, attendant. I think we just pass. I can take some hits for a while. So he can do three, he can do five damage with his two rallies. Man, he had us, he had us dead to rights. That was insane, he decided to save it. What was that about? Pass. Alright, let's try to take over this game. So... I'm just gonna wait. Uh, we can take one more hit for this, and if he does nothing, then we can decide to wrath or whatever. I'll probably just move over here. Yep. Don't want to take more hits. I was trying to wait to get at least a 2 for 1 out of the deal. Judges familiar results. That's interesting. Alright, I'm just going to wrath him and uh, try to start making something happen here. We have one more sweep board in hand. I think that's our last sweep board we have for the game, so... Definitely do this first. Man, that stupid suture priest. Now we can't make guys. Oh, now we can. So, I guess I'll just path her at some point. Or if she lets me, I'll kill her with the factory. We had a long ways to go, but these tokens will start adding up. Yep. Seem a little flooded again. I guess I'm just going to go pat the eggs out. That resolved immediately. So I'm looking like there's many protection spells here. So this is looking like we're going to run away with this. We're currently up a game. Mana Lake is about as dead as it can be. This starts to get exponential. 4, 6, 8, 10. I mean, that, that damage adds up real, real fast. Ooh. Okay, so now we have to worry about this card, but I think we're still alright. Attacking into this doesn't do a ton. Alright, so 
is one card left. Right now we're able to manage this board. So he might be past the point that he can beat us. I'm just going to leave everything up. I'm not going to rush to do anything. Oh, goodness, we want uh, the ingenuity for sure. Can I cast this in? Make a token, so I think I can get in for, let's see, I have three, six, so this would be seven. I can leave a path to exile. I'll play it super safe and just attack with one. That is about as safe as you can get. So he does have these two rallies, but we're, we're basically setting him up for the the fall kind of here. Oh shoot! I should have uh, should have made a guy first. I think I'm still making a guy though. So am I wrathing this board? Because I don't really have an answer to any flyers from here. It's probably okay though. I'm going to draw three. Don't think I'm using this this turn. Because I think I'm going to path his, uh, his pride mate here. That way we can get in with some, some guys. We have double mana leak, which probably doesn't do anything. Just attack for two right now, for four rather. I don't think I played a land. We're not in danger of decking. We have one more path to exile. Okay, please don't have another guy because now I have to wrath you. I mean, I don't have to, but. That card's kind of too big to fail, you know? If that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Yeah, now we have the Telgo Ranger to kind of protect us. I think it's time to do this to the point where I still get... Oh, okay, hang on. Yeah, so we attack with all the tokens first. Then we fire spell, then we Cloud go. So that was pretty clear that it was a wrath, but... Okay, so let's do this. We actually don't need to do it for flyers, but just in case he can get guys flying. Okay, so we're casting this as well. And this should do a good job of... Uh, Doing a bunch of damage. Yep. Okay, finally got him. Alright, this is going to be quick and dirty. I mean, he could have sweepers too, but it's not something I would expect him to bring in against us. So this should wrap the game up pretty quickly. I'll go Rangers, getting the job done. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to shield down here to make this happen. Not expecting too much of a uh, resistance here. I have another one. I think it's a little excessive to play that one. This is a lot of damage, 19 damage, so, or 16. 6, 8, plus another 6, 14. Yes, yeah, 16. I miscounted. And uh, we win the match, so we're going to the top four. Thank you guys very much for watching.